Welcome to Professor Toe's How to Win as an Imposter on Scout. This is the first of a four-part video series where I will break down exactly how to win in key scenarios on Skeld, Mira, Polis, and Airship. These will be useful when a round starts with two imposters and either three or four crewmates. These are must-win clutch scenarios. Today we are focusing on the map Skeld, the OG Among Us map. Ah, the Skeld, home sweet home to many an imposter and crewmate. We're going to be looking at exactly how to murder these dastardly and untrustworthy crewmates today. Certain aspects of this lesson will need to be adjusted on the fly depending on your lobby and its settings. Our lobby uses an emergency button timer roughly 7.5 seconds faster than the kill cooldown, meaning our imposters will be calling reactor at around 10 seconds left on their kill cooldown. This is a tight window of success for imposters. Crewmates have about 10 seconds to actually get off a reactor fix and button. This shouldn't be too hard for a coordinated team. The conventional strategy and most common play here for imposters is what I will refer to as the reactor call. How the reactor call works is pretty simple. You see these red arrows? The imposters will follow these arrows and travel left from the start. Don't bother trying to look like a crewmate anymore. We're going masks off. There should be no more meetings. You will take position at the reactor, uh, as we see here, kind of staggered. And at 10 seconds, call a sabotage and win the game with a double kill. Let's watch it in action. So you may have noticed that crew could have won there. All we had to do was hit both buttons and allow for a button press of the emergency button in cafeteria. We could vote and it was pretty clear who the two imposters were at that point. This is why I'm going to make a suggestion of another end game play. If you see both crew go left at the start, I'm going to suggest the O2 admin play. Now, the reason I like the O2 admin play at six is because if you look here, we can see what the crew looks like if they have perfectly tried to block reactor and O2. We have two on the left side, two on the right, one guard in each panel, and theoretically, they could stop any play and still go button in time. However, if this split happens, suddenly the imposters have a huge advantage if they both guard admin. You see, they can use doors to control the movement of uh, crewmates, and hopefully kill before the O2 is ever fixed at the bottom side. Um, this also means that theoretically they can block crew without even having to do an early uh, sabotage because there's nobody on button. So here's how the play itself works. If crew goes left from the start, imposters go straight to admin and wait. You call O2, execute a double kill. Simple enough. There are some modifications if crew tries to perfectly block, if you get an early fix, you can vent, you can control doors, but let's go ahead and just watch how this play will normally go. Not bad, right? All right, well, let me give you one final play to consider. The lights play. You see, when a meeting gets called on six and the lights are off, this is one of the most dangerous positions for imposters to be in. They cannot get a surefire win because they can't control the sabotage at the start of the next round. So lights are out. Crew just missed their vote. Here's how the imposters can win. All right, at least one imposter has to rush to the lights, preferably getting there first and block the crewmates from fixing it. This is simple enough. You just kick off the lights as fast as possible. It's a little bit of an action reflex game. It's like playing whack-a-mole. 
and you can do it well, you're going to win. Uh, because what that does is you stall long enough for your other imposter to get the final kill and win the game. Let's go ahead and watch how this plays out. And that's it. That's how to win on Skeld as imposters. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you.